According to the GMT, uh, it's a pleasure to be here with you again this afternoon. My name remains Birokiola Subongulu, a popularly called Yeyeo Big Baby Lake across the globe. I'm very happy to be with you again on my YouTube channel this period. It is with great pleasure that I have come here to uh give you another life saving secret a kind of secret that is capable to turn your life around first and foremost let me say a big thank you to all my subscribers i want to say thank you for following me i want to say thank you for believing in me I want you to say thank you for reaching out to me, for those who have been sending mails, those who have been sending me uh, uh, WhatsApp uh, chats, those who have been liking and sharing my programs. I want to say thank you. May Olodumari continue to establish you in every good thing. And may all your life expectations come to pass. Uh, I appreciate you. I love you guys. I thank you so much. Without you, there is no me. Of course, of what use is a video done that has no uh, viewers. I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. I want to appreciate you. And uh, I want to also appreciate you in advance for inviting your friends, for sharing the uh, my channels with others. I want to say thank you for making other people to participate. Please, if you have not subscribed to the channel, kindly subscribe. And please like the program, share the program, and together we will go up. Yeah. Just as I have said earlier, my name is Sibiru Kela Subonwolua. Yes, popularly called Ye Ye Obigbe Mileke. Yes, I am your sister, I am your friend, I am your coach, I am your mentor, I am your friend, I am mother, I am your sister, and I am your priestess, O local priestess. May the blessings of the deep, from the deepest of the O local kingdom, reach you establish you make you work stronger make you better than you have ever been may everything you have ever laid your hands upon yes may they begin to prosper for good may you excel and always get it right in life this afternoon uh, in nigeria gmt's afternoon yes this afternoon what am i sharing i want to share something that is very very important something that is very very powerful something that is like what i would call spiritual first aid mm. that's a that that think that is a nice one why do i call it first aid yes i'll call it first aid because um sometimes you have an issue sometimes there is a challenge there is a trouble there is a problem and um you actually need to take a step fast. You need to take a step fast on the matter. Now, a lot of people are far away from the African soil where they have known reputable uh, spiritualists, priests, 
priestess, people that they can easily call upon in situations. But sometimes you have a situation where people are far away in the diaspora. Uh, yes, they are far away from home, from the African soil. And then there are problems, there are troubles, and you look right, you look left. You begin to ponder, you begin to wonder, who do I call now? Who do I get in touch with? Yeah. Before you get to that kind of a situation where you are confused, or uh, where you begin to look for who, which number to chat with or to call, you can quickly run a particular parole. Now, sometimes uh, people wake up and find out that they have eaten in their dreams, and you know that eating in the dreams is spiritual poison. It's usually the beginning of many ordeals. It could be the plantation of incurable diseases, life-threatening terminal diseases, and so on and so forth. It could even be the beginning of a failure at the age of breakthrough or miracles for some people. Sometimes people match poison and uh, when they do that, they don't know what to do and they need an emergency. Yes, sometimes you have an issue, you use your head to pick cobwebs and you know as an African that cobwebs represent a uh, spiritual witchcraft attack. Cobweb is a very tiny rope in life actually but the truth stands that cobwebs are a spiritual rope I used to say that it is the strongest rope in, in this world, as tiny as it, as it is. It is strong enough to send people back from progress. Just a minute. Yes. It is, it is strong enough to set people back. It is strong enough to scatter a whole kingdom of progress in someone's life. Now, you see people picking up cobwebs in strange places. In places that you just cannot explain. Like in a shopping mall, at the entry point of a train, where other people have been passing. Or you uh, see people picking up, using their face or their head to pick cobwebs in the bus station. So many people are ahead of you, but when it gets to your turn, you realize that you are picking up cobwebs. And for a truly, thoroughly bred African child, you know that Wahala is setting in. There is trouble. So what do you do? What do you do? Sometimes your shoes are stolen by people that are very evil. Sometimes your private personal effects are taken by people that are wicked, that are, are people that will want to, to, to use those things to poison a particular segment or aspect of one's life. When you experience such a thing, or where you have an open threat, where somebody comes openly and threatens you. Now, what do you do? How do you handle that? What is the first step? The first aid, the spiritual first aid that you can use to face that. You will be surprised that it is not far-fetched. You will be surprised that it is very free. You are not paying for it. You will be surprised that it is something that you can always get at your will. And what is that? It is your urine. Ah, uh -huh. a lot of people will just wonder urine. Yes, urine. Urine has the power to nullify negative energy. It has the potency to cancel evil ordination. 
it has the power to terminate unfriendly agenda spiritually for someone's life, which means it has the capacity to turn a, a, a negative energy into a positive word. How do you use it? If you notice that you 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 eat in the dream, when you wake up, please just take a glass of your urine in a glass cup. You will see that it is very clear. When you look at it, it could be stylishly yellowish. So what do you do? You take a shot. You drink it. You drink your urine. If you have an illness and the illness seems to be having a spiritual dimension and you don't think to you don't seem to know what else to do after trying so many uh medical aspects, yeah. Everybody you wake up, take a shot of your urine. Everybody take a shot of your urine. Drink enough, like two point five ml or five ml. Just drink it. It will go into your system, into your body system. It will flush out negative energies. It will nullify negative situations, circumstances. Yeah. If you notice that your shoe has been stolen, please feel free to collect your urine when you want to sleep at night. Collect your urine together during the day. When you want to sleep at night, use it to wash your leg. Use it to wash your legs and... After that, you can now use clear water, clean water to, 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 to rewatch. Any arrow coming in or trying to come in will be dealt with. It will be notified. The particular intention, the negative intention for it to perform, to carry out, it will be impossible to carry it out. It, they will not fulfill their enterprise upon your life also if you are having problems with um, uh, promise and fail businesses suddenly take a u-turn or you use your head to pick up webs don't panic at least before you get in touch with your spiritualist what do you do just take uh, some quantity of your urine, early morning urine especially, pour it into your bath water and use it to bath. Do that for like a week. You will see a difference in your life situation. You will see. Uh, somebody called me some times ago and I was extremely busy and he said, oh yeah, yeah please, there's a problem. Uh, he's been picking up cobwebs these days and businesses are going down the drain. And uh, I just told him, Oga, okay, for now, be to are very busy. I may not be able to attend to you, but many the time I will be able to attend to you. Please go on your urine. He say what? I say yeah. Take uh like five ml or two point five ml of your urine. Mix it with water. Use it to bath. After clean up yourself properly with water, use your deodorant. You can use your soap and all that. And thereafter, you will be fine. And Later, I called him up to ask him how far he said the attack had stopped and that uh, uh, businesses had improved. Yes, before I eventually said to him uh, what will eventually uh, uh, make him to gain speed in his business. So, please, don't play with your urine. Your urine will be very, very important. If you notice that the poor uh, jazz, juju, or mercy at the entrance point of your business or shops, before you raise any alarm, just get some urine. It may not be any money. Just get some of your urine and pour it on top of whatever you see there. Wash it off. That is it. You won't. Before you eventually start making investigation as who what and all that flush it off your way yes it is possible so if you have any personal questions 
you have any uh, observation comments i will be in the comment section to read that but if you cannot come open publicly you can uh contact me on plus two three four eight one three five one two two seven five zero i will gladly attend to your chat and if you have any other spiritual needs i'll be there for your consultation or whatever i will always be available to be of him thank you